Alright guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So I'm going to show you right now how to update your video card. In my case, the EVGA GeForce GTX 970 SE to the Sapphire Nitro R9 398GB GDDR5 card. It's a little bit longer. You can see that here. But anyway, that doesn't really matter too much. So let me just go ahead and show you how to update. One thing you will have to make sure you have in your system is two 8-pin PCIe connections. This particular card takes two 6-pins. The second one is an 8-pin. It's actually a 6-pin plus two to make it an 8-pin. But the first one is only a 6-pin. Thankfully, in this 1200-watt Cooler Master Silent Pro power supply, it has plenty more connections, so I can just use this one. Tucking it out of the side for right now, just so it doesn't get in. But anyway, so first off, of course, unscrew the card you have now. All right, easy enough. All right, and then you're going to want to disconnect, which is just pinch and pull, and pinch and pull. Disconnect the any of the PCIe connections you may have. If you don't have any currently when you're updating, you don't have to worry about that part. And then now you'll notice right over here, there's, it looks like a little thing you can push in. You actually do have to push in. So. You can't just pull the card and pull it out. You're going to break your motherboard. This is a little retention mechanism for the PCIe cards. So, you know, if during shipping or anything like that, the system's going to shake a lot. With that little locking mecha uh, mechanism, it's not going to fall out. So what I'm going to do here is hold the card like this and just push in on that little guy here and then pull it out. Might have to jostle it a little, and there you go. And just to show you, now when I'm plugging this guy into the PCIe slot, this is a physically a by eight, but electrically this one is by 16. You're going to need at least a physical by eight slot for this card coming up now. But you'll notice, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this card back in. You're gonna notice this little retention mechanism just pops right back into place. You don't have to lock it yourself. See here, I'm pushing it in. All right, it is now in the slot, not all the way, but enough so that I don't have to hold it and just push it in. Just look right over here. See how it just locked in place? Again, now I can't pull that card out. So again, I'm going to push it in and just pull this card out. And there you go. So now you've just removed the previous card, and now the fun starts. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you this is really hard. It's not. It's incredibly simple. I recommend don't take your machine to a mechanic or a technician, I'm sorry, that you're going to have to pay a hundred, two, three hundred dollars to install a card that you just bought, adding on to that price. Just want to give you a little ability to install this on your own and to get rid of a little of that fear you may have. <clears throat> so here we go. Here's the big old card. Again, 12.1 inches. Now, I'm just, same way I did with the other card, I'm going to slide it back here, just so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to slide it into these two PCI, and so that this can slide in there. These two little pieces are going to lock back in here on the back of the case so that just how you saw I wasn't holding it when I slid it in a little bit that's because these two were holding it in place as well as the PCI slot because this guy slid in okay so now we're just going to go ahead move this one out of the way and slide it into place all right and now now that we have it, that we can let go, it's in there. It's not slid in all the way, but it's in there. Now we can just push it in. And you saw how it just 
kind of snapped into place. And now to further hold it in place, we're going to go ahead and screw these thumb screws in. They are thumb screws, but kind of getting into here is a little bit difficult. And I'm showing you with the case standing up or the PC standing up just so it's a little bit easier to see. You don't have to see any funny angles. All right, so now it's in place. Now, as I mentioned, these two aren't going to work on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and clip off the little zip tie I put right over here, just making it look pretty. Careful you don't snip a cable there. All right, and I'm going to snip the other one away. Actually. I'm going to leave, yeah, i got to take this one off. Alright. So now you can see this is a single cable. You can see right here, single cable. That branches off to a single 6 pin and a 6 plus 2. So now, the way you hold that in there is you just form these two so that it forms an 8 pin. And just, that's it and it kind of locks into place. It locks into place with this little guy right here. This snips on. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in here. This is another two PCIe connection, a single cable into two. This is a six pin and this is a six plus two pin. You can see here they split just like the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and join them together here. and just plug this in all right and there we go so now I'm gonna of course have to make this look a little prettier but this is the basic so now I'm just gonna put it in here like this zip tie it, maybe slip it back through that way you well basically just make it look a little bit nicer and the nicer it looks typically the better airflow you have that way the Arctic cooling 240 I have here, liquid cooling unit, can just blow more air over here, just keep the car a little bit cooler. And well, anyways, we'll see a little bit more in the review, and we'll see just how well this Sapphire Nitro R9 398GB GDDR5 card really is. Again, the OC edition. Alright guys, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See ya.